What's up everybody watching? In this video, I finally get to say it. I get to rip open a Pokemon 25th Anniversary Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. I, along with many other YouTubers, I'm sure, have been waiting to do this video. And to be honest with you, the way things have been going with Pokemon cards, you don't even know if you're going to get to make it on release day. So I am very grateful that I was able to pick this box up so I'm able to do this video today. Previously, I had one pre-ordered prior to the celebration's release day, and that wasn't getting delivered to the 11th. So having one on release day to rip open is just epic. Let me know in the comment section if you were lucky enough to get any Pokemon Celebrations items that you were able to tear into on release day. Now another thing before I pop into this box is, I don't know all the cards in this set yet. I like to leave it that way where I don't watch things like that so it's a surprise to me. So what I see in this booklet is going to be new to me. That's the way I handle gaming reaction videos, and that's the way I handle cards too. It shouldn't be a surprise. So this is all going to be new. I'm excited. Here's the box. You're going to get to see basically what I like to call live reaction, because we don't edit around here. We're too used to live. Boom. Of this box being opened. Let's do it. Enough with the talking. Like I said, it feels like you've been waiting months to do this, so here we go. Yeah, there's nothing else you can say. You'll just talk and talk because you're so happy you get to celebrate celebrations. Like if you're celebrating celebrations. Plus, I needed some more storage for the celebrations cards. And I've always said the Elite Trainer boxes make for excellent storages for your loose cards, the ones you put in sleeves, so it gives you a beautiful excuse to open them. You need something to tell yourself when you're ripping into that sealed product, and that's a great way of doing it, in my opinion. Let me know what you tell yourselves to rip into your sealed product to make you feel better, like me. You know what I mean. Sometimes it can hurt ripping into that kind of stuff. But this, whew, it feels so good to hold it. Couldn't get it on the Pokemon Center. Rough with the pre-orders. Let's go. Let's slide it open. I'm going to start with this because usually they do have something inside of these. And this is the fun box after all. So you rip this open. I remember with Evolving Skies it made a pretty solid poster. What do you get out of this? Train on. I thought about framing the Elite Trainer box, things like this, put them down a row. I have ideas, possibly, for the new studio that's coming in, what is it, 20 days at this point? Oh, a new studio. That's even crazier. It's just crazy how this channel has been sort of picking up a little bit. New studio, new content. I mean, we went from gaming to Funkos to Pokemon, and it all fits let's show the celebrations players guide and continue to celebrate i want to see what's in it i'll go page by page because it's not that big we'll do it this way you got to get a full feel for what's inside of these classic pokemon and here's your cards nice these are all the cards in the set quick classic subset description There's your Charizard. Yeah, I know about the Charizard that you could pull here. Red Ninja. You gotta savor every bit of it when you finally get one of these in your hands. From Zach from. Oof. I heard this had some pretty epic Pikachu cards in it, so I'm anxious to see what they look like. I think there's one with a birthday cake that I heard about. I mean, yeah, I don't live on. There you go. You don't live under a rock, so you do hear things, but you don't look. That's key to keeping it fun. You got Surfing Pikachu and Flying Pikachu. We definitely want to pull those two right away. I've said in previous videos, I want to make a full page of VMAX Pikachus in one of my binders. Now here's where we get the set. I heard there was only 50 cards in the set, so might limit the amount of packs you have to open, but I've also heard there's only four cards per pack. I've never opened one. We'll find out in a minute. Here's your cards. Pikachu with balloons, Serpent Pikachu. 
It's just epic. This is just epic. I can't believe it's been 25 years since this is out. It shocks me to this day. Look at some of these cards. You got the Mew, Gold Mew in there. Older trainer cards. I like this design. What was that from? I have a Blastoise one like this. Team Rocket. I love the older set cards. It brings back memories. Mew X. Look at this. Zekrom, Rayquaza, Japanese version. Look at this. Some of these cards that you could pull. Small guide. I'm going to review more of this when I start to put together an album because you bet we'll be doing that. Now, what's inside the box, right? Five minutes to get to that point. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Boom. What's inside this ETB? You get your basic rules. That comes with pretty much all of them. There's your meat and potatoes. This cardboard. Looking right at the packs here. You can feel it. Sleeves with the 25th anniversary logo on it. I like these. But I'm building up a Elite Trainer box of sleeves at this point. We have our Ultra Pro ones ready just in case some epic pulls come along. There's our energy cards. Digging in, digging in. You can see the packs. There's your dice. We'll just get this stuff out. Dice, coin. Put that down so I can show you those quick. Nothing special about the dice in this. Dice, coin. Hmm. Next, ETB code. Let's give that away. Who wants a Celebrations Elite Trainer Box code? There you go. Celebrations Elite Trainer Box code. First come, gets it. What else do we have? There's your promo card. Greninja. I'm going to leave it in here. It's a hollow. This only comes with the Elite Trainer Box. Let me know your thoughts on the promo card for the Trainer Box. Some of the cardboard boxes I've shown, they have better promo cards in my opinion. But you got to get one of all of them, right? Here we are. Here we are. What is this? 25th anniversary. Now let's get to the good stuff. It's 10 packs, right? I think it's 10 packs that comes in this Elite Trainer box. So, yeah, it is four cards per pack. So you're going to get, we'll start out with showing these. Five regular booster card packs in the trainer box. Darkness Ablaze. Out of print. Darkness Ablaze. That's two Darkness Ablaze. That's not bad. Vivid Voltage. Another one that's supposedly out of print, but I heard they're going to reprint the Pikachu Elite Trainer Boxes one more time. So that's a heads up. That might not come for a while, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure Voltage is out of print. Battle Styles, which nobody really likes. And Chilling Rain, a criminally underrated set in my opinion so so far i like the booster packs that you get in here now how many of these do you get is it 10 so you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten celebrations packs that would be 40 cards there's only four four cards per pack we're going to save these for the main event Let's rip into the boosters first and see if we could pull some epic pulls out of these to warm us up for our 25th anniversary celebrations packs. Now, where do we start with this mess over here? Let's go with battle styles. Let's get that out of the way so we don't have to worry about this any longer. Battle styles pack from the ETB. Here we go. Let's see if we can pull some nice here. Battle Styles code. We're going to give away all the codes in this video. For Shuffle. I'm liking the Shuffle. I see how the YouTubers just flip the cards. I'm kind of liking the Shuffle. It keeps it keeps it entertaining, in my opinion. Luxio. Grant. Perugly. Am I pronouncing these right? Sizzlipede. Looks pretty cool. Altoy. 
Timber, Corefish, Cockney, there's your hollow, Huncrow. All right, what do we got? Last card. Vicent, what is that? Victory Bell. You didn't really expect battle styles to lose over the goods. If anyone did, I'm not sure what to tell you. What do we do next? Put these over here. These will be binder. Let's grab Vivid Voltage. Let's go. We need the jolt now. Vivid Voltage, Rainbow Pikachu. Come on, bring us the Rainbow Pikachu to celebrate Pokemon's 25 years. That would be amazing. Love myself a Rainbow Pikachu here. I already pulled two of the VMAX Pikachus. Boom. Free code. I'm getting to the point where I have most of the Vivid Voltage cards. So, what do you do with your Vivid Voltage product at that point in time? That's my thoughts here. Do you sell some of the packs, being that you've pretty much gotten everything you want in the set? Or do you keep ripping them open to get another rainbow Pikachu? What would you do? That's my method for this kind of stuff. Buy as many as you can, as early as you can. Complete your sets, and once you do that... Trade, sell, and go for the next set. you got to keep it going, right? Not the best Vivid Voltage pack here. So... The voltage didn't give us the jolt we were looking for. Let's go for, hmm, Chilling Rain. Let's do Chilling Rain. We'll save the darkness of blazes for the end of the boosters. So we're going to do a Chilling Rain one right now. Still trying to hunt down some of the pulls in Chilling Rain. It's been getting better for me with Chilling Rain. I still say it's a very underrated set. The art is amazing. I agree with other people when they say that once the hype dies down for everything else with Pokemon, Chilling Rain is going to be one that you're going to want to scoop up in the end. I often see the Elite Trainer boxes for Chilling Rain left on the shelf, and I question why. At 40 bucks, I don't get it. I'm not going to read out the card names. I don't know. With the Elite Trainer boxes for Chilling Rain, I know the Shadow Rider gets picked up quicker than Icy Rider, and I have no problem picking up numerous Icy Rider Chilling Rain boxes because they deliver, and like any other ETB, I think they're a pretty solid investment, especially an overlooked, undervalued one. Not oh, okay. That was your hollow. I don't think I have this hollow, actually. And then the pull, that's a reverse hollow. Greedent. I don't have either one of these cards, so this is two new additions to my Chilling Rain binder that I'll be able to add. So these are going to go over here. So far, a hollow and a reverse hollow are the best we've pulled so far. That's probably a good sign that the fire is going to come in these Darkness Ablaze packs. Let's roll. Darkness Ablaze. You feel guilty even opening them anymore once they're discontinued. At least that's me. This was one of the sets I didn't get as many as I would have liked, and I'm still looking for the ETV for it. I will get a hold of that one day with a turn of this on it. That looks epic. That's just a nice one to have in your collection. What Elite Trainer boxes are you guys currently trying to hunt down in the current Pokemon market? That's a good one. Curious to see what other people are looking for. I've also said before in videos, you see Sun and Moon around, and that one to me is a little bit underrated too. That's one you can find pretty regularly at retail that I just don't understand why it's left, because it'll go up in value like any other Elite Trainer box. People are too focused on the current sets or the quick flip. Hmm. And I think overlook those things. What's the last card? Dracozolt. That is not bad. I don't have this Dracozolt, so he's going to go over here. Certain cards I like going 
specific binders and we have to have those separate we all have our ways of doing it with pokemon cards when we organize them you want to tell me yours let me know in the comment section you can learn a thing or two from other collectors that way last darkness of blaze pack no good pulls so far in the booster packs so maybe they're saving it for the 25th anniversary packs here's to hoping right boom Darkness of Blaze code for shuffle. Hopefully we didn't show. Pokey, I haven't even seen this. Pokey Breeders Nurturing with a Yamper in there. I kind of like that card. Yamper right there in the back. Multiple Yampers. I like this card. It's going to go right over here. Like I said, when we see cards we like, we take them and we put them right into our binders what is this an energy card not a bad energy card deliver us a charizard toxel nothing good this doesn't feel like it's a good pack rose tower i don't have this reverse but let's see what the last one is can we get something mm. Mm. Not the best booster packs. Not the best, but that's not what we're all here for. We're here for these. And this is what I've been waiting for. I grabbed this one, so this is going to be the first one we open. It's weird holding the four pack. The only thing I've ever seen like this is the ones that come in the dollar store tins. Three packs. Let's go. It's weird with the little one. Tear it into the first celebrations pack. This is the very first one. What can we pull? You gotta savor the moment as you hear the rip. And hope you don't rip the cards trying to be cute with it, you know? There you go. I don't even know if there's a shuffle in a four pack. But here's a code for those who want it. We're not going to shuffle this because I don't even know if there's a shuffle. It's my very first one. That looks nice. Okay, we got a hollow. Hold on. Maybe I did. Maybe the hollow has to go in the back. Maybe it's a one shuffle. We're learning. We have something good here already. No, maybe it is just this way. What is that? That looks like a VMAX style card. In the first pack. We're just going to go ahead and get one of these ready now. Because you got to think positively that it's going to be something good. We know with the good cards, they got to go right into sleep. So we are prepared right now. What is it? What did we pull for celebrations? Pfft. Not bad at all. Zamazenta V. Celebrations. First pack. Let me know your thoughts on this card, and it is certainly going in the sleeve. Beautiful. Not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. Now I want to make sure I keep these celebrations card separate because of course we're going to try to put together a set they're all hollows huh are they restaurants a hollow am i seeing this correctly they all look like hollows maybe that's part of the fun this is part of the fun of opening your first pack you realize new things every single time I'm going to show it again because they all look like hollows the closer you get. And sometimes you don't notice it right away. Not bad. All right. You can tell the excitement is all over the place. Looking at this celebrations box. Train on. Let's go. Train on in pack number two. We want to train on with a Charizard. That's what we want to do. I don't know what comes with what. It's a learning experience. I imagine being that I was able to pick up a number of these, we'll do another one of these on this channel. Another one of these boxes down the line. So this is a duplicate. Kyogre. 
It looks like a duplicate pack. Ouch. You've had both of these cards. This is a new one. Cosmo one. You gotta expect you're gonna get a number of these with such a small set. What's the last card? Solgaleo. Not quite as good as the first one. But new cards are good cards. Pack number three. It was, I'm like looking over here because I still have other stuff here. You're looking like that Pikachu Celebrations premium box was outrageously tempting to open all in itself. It was between that and the Elite Trainer box. We started with the Elite Trainer box because we want to know what cards are in the set. After that, it's Pikachu. You can tell there's no sign of stopping here. Eventually, we're going to have to. It has been a long day. So we got Lugia. This was a box that I picked up. It has one of our Cosmic Eclipse packs in it, I believe. And Celestial Storm. It's a sign. Hoa oh, was another box I picked up which had the um, Celestial Storm packs in it. We have a Pikachu because that was silly enough, but that's nice, beautiful. Venusaur Stage 2, and we see Pikachu. Now, this card isn't as rare as it looks. This looks nice. Venusaur Hollow Stage 2, that's going right into it. These are going right into protectors, obviously. Right into the case. To save time, we're going to use this. And I'll put them in directly after the video. Put them in that little thing. After the video, right into the cases. Once we get a chance to play around with the book, take a look at the cards, see what's worth what. I like to wait till release for all that. Another code. Let's see. Duplicate. Like I said, you'll probably get a lot of these. Lugia. Is that a duplicate? No, this one is not a duplicate. Thought it was for a second. Cosmog. So this is new. With Jigglypuff in the background. And the little 25th symbol. You gotta love it. There's another. This is epic. What is this? Rayquaza and Surfing Pikachu back there. This is This is going well. This is going well. Rayquaza EX, and behind it is a surfing Pikachu. Which one of these would you rather have? The Rayquaza looks nice, but this is going to look sick going in the Pikachu binder. A basic surfing Pikachu. We're just going to put these in. We're not even going to wait till after the video to put these in a case. We need to find something and do that right now. Right now, where did you put the sleeves? They're right in front of you. The excitement just overwhelms you. you. You just lose all senses of where everything is in the house when you pull cards like this. It's a Japanese version of the card. I like it. Mega Rayqua. Solid. Solid. Rayquaza has been at the forefront of everything with Evolving Skies, so... Adding another one to the binder is going to be quite nice. Take a look at this card. What a beautiful card. Now it's in the protector. Very nice. Surfing Pikachu will join that as well. We're not going to wait. It's going to be a mess over here by the end. So we got to make sure all the good stuff like this gets put away. One more time. Excellent cards. They're going to go right here. That was a hell of a pack. How many do we have left here? We still got six bags to go. This is good. This is good. Going to savor each and every one. You only get one first Elite Trainer box for 25th anniversary celebrations. Code. There's got to be a shuffle involved, but we're not going to do it. Palkia, Duplicate, 
Cosmog. Another duplicate. What's the last one? I like this set. I like this set. I imagine they're going to have more cards like this in this set, but it's just fun popping them open and pulling it. Flying Pikachu V Max. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Maybe I wasn't lying when I said the excitement is over the moon where you can't even find cases to put it in. Flying Pikachu was one that I wanted very much. So, so far I'm quite happy with this Elite Trainer box and we still got half of the box to go. Let me know your thoughts on Flying Pikachu. Solid. Starts with a Zama. What do we have left? Five packs. We're halfway through and I'm, I'm happy as can be so far with this box. I was right that they saved the good stuff for the 25th anniversary packs instead of the regular booster packs because they those were a little bit of a letdown. Well, this is delivering, at least in my opinion. Let me know yours. Here's another code coming your way. Boom. Four cards. I agree. Devil Tall. This one, we're seeing too much of at this point. What's the last card here? You knew it wasn't going to be something great after a VMAX, Hollows. I mean, that wasn't the best of packs. We got four to go, though. Like I said, Flying Pikachu makes me happy already. Give me Birthday Pikachu. I, I know about Birthday Pikachu. We need Birthday Pikachu. Absolutely need Birthday Pikachu. One thing I want to do with the VMAX cards at some point that I have, let's see, this doesn't quite count as a VMAX, but you'll get the point. You have something like this, and you clip them in the bottom. I want to set up a VMAX card display in my new studio. That's a goal I have, and putting things together like this helps you reach it. you got to get those hard protector cases, and that's going to be a little bit of work to put that together. But it sounds like a fun idea to me, and I'm going to roll with it eventually when I get some time. Here's a free code. What do we got here? Duplicate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, is, this one's different. Different one. I like it so far. Duplicate. So we are picking up some cards to build the 50 card basic set and whatever else comes with it. I, again, like I said, have to go through that player's guide to see exactly what you need. But 50 is what I think the number is. We're working towards that here. What do we got? Three packs left. I can't believe we're almost at the point of saying last pack of luck. Almost. Free ETB code for celebrations. Seems like this is going to be our method. I'm feeling like this pack is going to be something good. Because when you start out with something different, it usually ends with something different. Renus. Georgie. They're all hollows too, most of them. I don't know if you guys could see that in the camera, but... That... See, I hate it. I'm sliding the cards down. This... Nice card. Team Magma's Grow God. And then you pulled this Pikachu again. This is the best card so far in this pack. This one you're going to see a lot of, I think. Original Pikachu. Not bad, though. Not bad. Duplicates. We know what we do with those. We'll put that in a case after. It's those VMAXs you want to get taken care of right away. And that Charizard Hollow. We want that Charizard Hollow. Let's go deliver the Charizard. Let's do it on the first ETB. I can even wait to the last pack. We have to add some suspense for it, right? Boom. Free celebrations code. Do you have it all? Cosmog, this looks like it's going to be a bust of a pack. So we're going to... 
Yeah, bus pack. Mm, bad pack. All duplicates. Last pack luck. Last pack luck here. Touch the clover. Let's go. This is the last pack in the very first Elite Trainer box for celebrations that we've opened on this channel. Hopefully there will be many more. Show the viewers that we're going to bring it home with something good. Now you're getting in the groove of it. Celebrations code. Duplicate. Has volume. Oh. Oh, last card. Come on. Give us a VMAX. Pikachu again. This is the third time. This is the third time we've seen this one. It's a nice card, but not that nice. But... It is Pokemon Celebrations, and uh, you know what? It's a great way to end the box, with the last card being the first Pikachu for the 25th anniversary celebrations, right? You gotta go with OG Pikachu here. There's plenty of other Pikachus, but this is the one that started it all. Everybody, thank you for watching this video. Like, and please do not forget to subscribe, because we are so close to that 1K mark. We can taste it here. We have goals on this channel. That is one of them. Hell, this video should have been live to begin with, but we have to stick with it and push to that 1K. So hit that sub button. Thank you for watching. Enjoy Pokemon celebrations. Tell me what you've pulled and tell me what your favorite items are so far for the release. There's been a ton of them. I want to know from the viewers. Everybody, nothing else we could say here. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. I will see you in the next video, which will probably be a Pikachu premium collection. So make sure you subscribe so you can see that. Later.